when should I do H-1B amendment? What kind of a change triggers H-1B amendment and what kind of a change are okay? So when you get your H-1B approval notice, it is not the end of the H-1B processing. It's just a beginning of the H-1B chapter because the H-1B compliance determines whether you could successfully change your H-1B employer, whether you could successfully do H-1B renewal, or whether you could successfully get your green card. So when you start working as an H-1B holder, if your working location has changed and that new location requests a new prevailing wage, you need to do H-1B amendment. However, if your working location change is within the same metropolitan area, which means it does not trigger a new prevailing wage, then this change does not need H-1B amendment. If your job title and job duty has minor adjustment, you don't need to do any H-1B amendment because the same job code will apply. However, if the change requests a new job code, then H-1B needs to file an H-1B amendment. If your company only changes name but remain the same yet in code, this means you don't need to do any H-1B amendment because it's just a name change, the employer is still the same employer. However, if the change, reconstruction, the merge request, you have a different EIN number, you have a different employer, they need, need to do H-1B amendment or H-1B transfer to make sure your payroll is with the right H-1B sponsor. When you do H-1B transfer or H-1B renewal, USCIS will examine your payroll, whether the company who pays your salary is your H-1B sponsor. If there is any inconsistency in this part, you probably already triggered violation you don't even know. So H-1B compliance is critically important. And if you have any question, you can reach out. We're going to evaluate if your H-1B needs any H-1B amendment or needs to take any action. Thank you.